What is up, y'all boys? It is Ride with G back with another video. Today I'm doing how to afford your dream car or M340i at a young age with little credit, how to get the bank to approve you. I'm fresh out of work, sweaty as fuck. I'm finna get a haircut and I'll see y'all in a minute. All right, we back with the fresh cut. Um, As I said, today I'm gonna be going over how if you're young and you don't really have a long history of credit, and you trying to finance your dream car, whether that be a fucking Hellcat or a goddamn M340 or M4, whatever you trying to get and you young and you're like, damn, I don't think I can do this. I don't think the bank's going to let me get it. I'm going to give you all some tips because I straight just bought one of my dream cars, my 2020 M340. And I'm going to just give you all some tips before you go in to do it and how it can be easier for y'all. Some shit I learned through the process. So number one your credit when you walk into a dealership or a credit union if your credit is trash bro you're not going to get approved for 40 fifty thousand dollars it's just it's just facts i mean you can get approved but it might be fucking 30 percent interest and the way the interest rates are set up right now i would just really wait to build my credit get a higher credit score so if you watching that shit with like a fucking 500 credit score or 450 credit score and you trying to go into a bank and get 50 grand i'm sorry it's probably straight just not gonna happen damn why, why, why my windshield wipers on bro what the fuck it's straight probably not gonna happen bro so i would suggest if you if you fucked your shit up if your balance is high as fuck on you you got a bunch of little credit cards and them shits at 90 percent utilization whatever just pay them hoes off live poor for six months pay your shit down fix your credit and then go in. Because I say, when you walk into a dealer as a young person and you, you've never find it. Me, personally, I've never financed a vehicle. I've owned a lot of vehicles, but I've never financed one personally. I would say, if you're trying to get approved for 40, 50 grand on an M340 or a Hellcat or a Scat Pack or a Camaro, whatever your fix is, uh, I would walk into the dealership with no lower than like a 680 credit score, bro. Like, because the way the economy's set up right now, uh, it's just going to be really hard for you to get an interest rate that's below, like, 20 fucking percent, bro. Me, I walked in to the dealership with a 736 credit score, which is pretty good. It's, like, in the higher range, but it's not perfect. So, when I walked into the dealer to get my 2020 M340, um, it was around 43000 I put some money down on it. That's that's besides the point. But the the price, the base price, what like that it was listed for was like forty three thousand. And so I walked in there. I had on my credit karma. My uh, score was like seven thirty six. But here's a tip number one: credit, credit karma, straight. It's good to know like your approval odds for credit cards. It'll tell you like what you can pay down to raise your score. But as far as getting your credit score from Credit Karma, I straight wouldn't do it, bro. Because Credit Karma, that shit is always going to be wrong. I mean, it's always going to be probably 10 to 20 points higher than what your actual score is. So I walked in with a 736 credit score on Credit Karma. But I learned, I Googled a bunch before. So I had uh, downloaded my FICO which is like your FICO score, and it's normally a little bit more accurate. It's never going to be 100% from what the car dealers pull, but it's more accurate. And I think on that, it was like a 724. But they ended up pulling my credit at the dealer, and they still pulled. They pull, I think they pulled like 709 or something. So I went from 736 to 709. So if you got... <clears throat> Say you got a, cre a credit score of like 700 and you're like, I got a 700 credit score. It's pretty good. I can get approved on a fucking CAC or a M340 or whatever, M4, goddamn. And you walk in with a 700 credit score on Credit Karma and you're like, hey, here, bro. I got 700 credit score. Like, I'm trying to cash out, bro. Just know they probably going to pull a 670 and you automatically like, I mean, your interest rate would probably be like, Honestly, 30 points, that's a lot. That's a probably whole point or two, bro. So 
just basically try to go go off experience or my FICO or Credit Karma and and see your scores, and then I would say average that and minus ten points. So if your credit score is seven hundred, just think you gonna walk in, it's gonna be six eighty. If your credit score is seven twenty, just say that it's gonna be seven hundred when they pull your credit. So that's tip number one: get your credit right. If you got a bunch of high ass balances on shit, pay that shit down. Um whatever okay number two is debt to income so say all right let's make an example you make four grand a month let's just say you make four thousand a month but you have thirty two hundred dollars going out a month to credit cards bills rent phones whatever and the bank sees you bring home four thousand but you're paying thirty two hundred out like you're you you have to pay that a month they're straight not gonna give you a loan for 50 grand because they're gonna know this motherfucker is already living off 600 dollars a month free and he's trying to get a six seven hundred eight hundred dollar car payment like this shit don't make sense so number two i say debt to income bro if you make four thousand let's say that i'm just gonna use the example four thousand a month I would say, bro, you want to be spending like no more than probably twenty five hundred a month, and even at like that, the bank still might be like, mm, let's see, six hundred dollar car payment, three hundred dollar insurance, uh, whatever, and just not like it. It all comes down really to how much debt to income you have. So I say that's a tip too. Make sure your shit, you're not maxed out, bro. And if you're maxed out, you st straight shouldn't be trying to get an expensive ass car anyway because you need to straight get your priorities straight pay your debt be on track you don't you don't like this shit is fun this shit is exciting like it's cool to have a fun fast car but if when repairs happen there repairs happen there and plus you want to be able to mod your car you want to be able to put a down pipe on your car some wheels lower that bitch put a lip put a spoiler you know, all that shit so you don't you don't want to go in there anyways with like like you know just like whatever which I know people do and they'll just sign the dotted line 29% APR or whatever but don't do that number 2 now I'm going to go into kind of how you can afford you may be like damn you look young straight I'm I'm 25 so I'm not too young my insurance rate dropped a little bit this year straight I hit 25 so like it's not super bad for me if you're straight like 19 and you don't have a parent you can put on your shit me personally i'm in my on my insurance by myself i have been for like three years and uh whatever but if you got a parent you can put on your shit you can get low ass insurance yeah i'm gonna get into how you can afford your dream car so assuming that your uh credit score is pretty good and your debt to income is not horrible the bank's probably gonna give you a loan for thirty five, fifty thousand. Let's just say you're in that range for a young person trying to get a fucking whatever. It could be lower. It could be. I mean, this applies to any range. But once you get, once you get into probably fifty plus territory, uh, it's gonna get probably a little, a lot harder for for a young person if you're not making a shit ton of money, um, and you've never financed a vehicle before, but let's just assume your debt to income is not crazy and your credit score is good how do you afford a car like people people always say to me like damn you you pay me personally my note after i put the money down this car was straight almost well with taxes tags fees everything this car my loan is almost 50 grand i think it's 48 the car was 43 I put a little money down on it, whatever. My, my loan's almost $48,000. So, yeah, on this car, I pay two sixty eight dollars in insurance, and I pay $800 on a note. And you may be like, damn, that's crazy. That's almost $1,100 a month for a car payment and insurance. So, I'm going to go I'm gonna go over why it's worth it. And if you're young and you got the expenses like me, Personally, I've been investing my money since I was straight 19 years old, savings, 401ks, IRAs, dividends, like 
options. Like, I've been doing it all. Like, I put, as soon as that money hits my account, like, every check I get to my account, that, like, that bitch gets put away, 90% of it. So, obviously, a little bit less now. But you can still afford to drive a nice car as a young person. I'm going to say why. A lot of people be like, oh, man, that's crazy. You're going to pay $1,000 between insurance and a car payment. Whatever, bro. That's so much money. But I, another tip I'm going to give y'all is download an app called Rocket Money, bro. It's not paid partnership. I'm straight not getting paid off this shit. But Rocket Money will start an app, and it'll sync to your bank account, and it'll tell you how much money you straight spend to shit every month, bro. But I looked at that shit one month, like, some months back. Before I had this car, I've only owned this car for, like, two months. Not even. Not even two months. But I was straight spending, like, 400 a month in, like, food and DoorDash and, like, just bullshit. 400 a month on, like, just DoorDash and Chipotle, $32. DoorDash and Taco Bell, $30. Oh, bro, that shit adds up, like, $20 here, $20 there, $20 here. So, basically, as a young person, I'm saying is, it's good to go out and splurge and hang with your friends and whatever, but that shit adds up. So, me personally, since I've got this car, I don't want to stop saving my money and investing my money and, like you know saving for my future because the cars are fun but like the goal is straight your future so straight you can straight meal prep go buy go to the store buy chicken buy rice buy vegetables and you can make a whole week of food bro like off 30 bucks bro like and it's as opposed to spending 20 dollars a meal potentially two three times a day bro breakfast lunch like you you leave you straight get a coffee that shit ten dollars you get a biscuit that shit say you spend twelve dollars on breakfast straight you go to lunch you spend fifteen dollars on chick-fil-a you get off you're like damn i don't really want to go home cook like whatever i'm a straight just go get whatever bro you probably spent fifty dollars that day bro on food bro and I don't know, like, eating out three times a day. I know that's kind of like, damn. I know eating out three times a day, that's kind of crazy. Like, not everybody does that. But it's straight. You would be surprised if you check fucking Rocket Money how much money you spend out to eat a month or out fucking with your friends clubbing and drinking or if you play the game straight on skin. Like, my, oh, I just spent $10 on Call of Duty skin or Fortnite skin, like, I'll spend $25. I'll do whatever. That shit adds up. So basically, I'm saying the little shit that you do eating out fucking five times a week or buying skins on the game, that money you probably did with that shit, you could afford your car. You could afford that whatever. I mean, you might still be adding $400 a month to your budget, you know, getting an M340 or whatever car you want. But the point is you don't have to be broke to drive a nice car like it's straight that's like the mean like don't be car poor don't be car broke but you don't have to you just have to live a little bit smarter i mean you don't have to you could do the same shit you could do but you might be left with fucking 50 dollars left a month and you don't you don't want to do that to yourself you still want to be financially smart you don't want to be a fucking dumbass like you know scrape scraping pennies but the point is, you can meal prep shit, you can, and you can still go out, bro. Like, I straight still go out, I still go to restaurants, you just can't do that shit every single day. Or you gonna be fucked up. But you gotta weigh, do I want a nice, fast-ass car to take to car meets and chill with my friends and go fucking cruise through the streets? Or do you want fucking Call of Duty skins and Fortnite skins, and do you want a DoorDash fucking $30 in Chipotle every night? It's like... You basically choose what you're going to put your money into. So it's it's all about, you know, picking and choosing and weighing. And it's like, me personally, if I had the money in my budget, I'd probably spend it on bullshit anyway. So it's like, I'd rather have a nice car. So don't be car poor. Don't be car broke. You can't afford the shit if you live smarter, bro. It's it's possible, bro. Don't, like, people put in your head when you go to do it. Oh, my God, you going to... But you could do it, bro. You could do it. You could do it. You right there looking at you. M340 Hellcat. What you want, bro? You got it. It's yours, bro. But I'm just rambling on. I just wanted to make a video, you know, get some content out. 
and tell you that it is possible. And whatever car you want, you got that shit, bro. So, um, straight subscribe to my channel, bro. Subscribe, like the video if you like me, if you like the content. Uh, shit, run it up, bro. And there's tons of content to come. But, alright, y'all. I'm gonna see y'all in the next one.